Okie pokey weirdos, Reverie Cosplay 98 at your service. And welcome to my world of cosplay shenaniganery. Let's check out how I made my fursuit tail out of a foam pool noodle from Dollar Tree, shall we? Materials that you will need. First things first with that tail, you have to cut out notches so that the tail swivels and moves more like a natural tail. I wanted the tail sock to be removable. That way I could just continuously reuse the foam noodle. Because this was the first pool noodle tail I ever made, the measurements are a little off, but generally about an inch and a half is in between each notch, and then the widest part of each notch is mostly, kind of, sort of, an inch. And because I'm short, I had to use some really sturdy wire to make the tail curl up a little more. That way I'm not tripping over it at any conventions. Also using wire, I attached a belt to the back of the tail, but I do want to make my own belt based upon this cosplayer's video on how she made her Mew tail. That is a much sturdier belt and the $13 Walmart belt that I got, I don't feel like it's gonna last very long with the heavy weight of this tail hanging on it. For the end of the tail, I shaved it down into somewhat more of a pyramid shape so that it would taper off like most long tails do. Then I covered that tail in newspaper, getting the newspaper to stay down with masking tape. Next, you mark the pattern that you want on the masking tape. I wanted stripes, so my pattern turned out looking something like this. And I will do my best to get my digital pattern up and on Etsy as soon as possible. I'm still learning how to digitize my patterns, so give me a little time, but hopefully I can get that up so that if any of you do not want to make a striped tail pattern, I already have one for you. Based upon this measurement of a foam pool noodle. If you like costumes, cosplay, and crafting content, remember to subs, comms, thumbs, ding! Next, I traced out all of those pattern pieces onto fabric and fur. If you've seen my fursuit head part two video, then you would know that I used hook and loop tape, i.e. Velcro, to attach all the red pieces so I was not washing red and white fabric together. Therefore, with this tail, I used old bed sheets and fur for the base of the tail, and then I cut out my pieces in red fur and Velcroed them to the old bed sheet sections. And I duct taped down all of the wire so that it wouldn't be poking me anywhere. I tried hot glue, but hot glue just melts the foam noodle, so don't do that. Also, this little section ripped when I was removing my tail sock, so I will make the tail sock a little wider in the pattern, that way you can wiggle it off easier. The pattern also will be going to a different character because I have a ring-tailed lemur fursona that I would like to bring to life eventually. And that torn bit of my foam noodle, I attempted to super glue it back together, but that was a bad idea. I forgot super glue heats up when it dries. There's a fun chemical reaction there that gets it to dry and be a permanent bond, but because of that heating up, it melted the noodle again, which meant I moved on to contact cement. And the contact cement worked for me. Now I know every time I make a pool noodle or any other foam craft, Contact cement is my best bet. And there's nothing super fancy about sewing the tail pieces together. You just match up the seams, sew them all together in a straight line, and then sew them together in a straight line down the center for every single piece to close off the tail and make it a sock. And that's how I made my fursuit tail for my Lucy Lacemaker character. This character was designed by Sam Fenna, and he did give me permission to make this costume. Thank you, Sam. And now I have a little announcement about a surprise piece of this costume. The best kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> I made an articulate jaw for the costume, which I talked about in my fursuit head making part one, but 
I also have another articulate piece that I will not reveal until the costume is completely done, unless you're a patron on my Patreon. On Patreon, I will be posting a video about how I made the surprise piece. And here's a little hint for you. If you're excited to know what that little hint was about, check out my Patreon and become one of my favorite weirdos. And welcome to the madness. Do, 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 do. Stop looking at the viewfinder. Do, 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 do. Now I need my laptop. It's got stickers. And I forgot something. Asking to. I was just using it. There it is. There's a dog hair. Mm, dog hair. <laughs>